Hi, my name is Say Africa and I hope you are doing good. I want to take this opportunity to wish you well in these difficult times. I know it is challenging for many of us because we are compelled to switch from what we are used to, that is face-to-face -face lectures, to an online medium. But I think that it is possible if we know how to use it. The purpose of this video is to show you how to access, download and make use of all the course materials that are placed on the e-learning platform by your lecturers. In our previous video, we said that before you can access your e-learning platform, you are supposed to log into the e-learning account, that is your personal account. And we said that you need username and password to enable you log into your own account. In case you have any difficulty logging into your account, you may have to refer to our previous video. So I've entered my username and I've also entered my password. The next thing is to hit on login to take me into my account. When your account opens, this is what you are likely to see. So on my screen, I can see a number of boxes. Every box is a course. So if you have been enrolled in 20 courses, you are going to see 20 boxes down here. If you have been enrolled in seven courses, you are going to see seven boxes over here. So for example, this box is for science 242. This box is for math 906. This box is for echo 947. There are other two boxes over here recently assessed courses they are the courses i have opened before or the courses i opened not long ago so let's say if i open ema 553 the next time i log in it will also be here so that there will be three boxes up here so all the courses here are the courses you opened or you have opened before on the top here, I can see home. I can see dashboard, events, and my courses. When you bring the cursor to my courses, all the courses you have been enrolled in will appear. So you can see that on the screen. So if you have been enrolled in 10 courses, it will appear in a list form like you can see on the screen. So you can either open a course page from here or using the boxes I showed you early on. So let's say I want to open science 242. I just have to bring the cursor to the name of the course which has appeared and then I'll click on it. Then it will open the course page for science 242 for me which is introduction to biology one. So this is the course page for one course. The name of the course is Introduction to Biology 1, Science 242. So this is how the lecturer has arranged items on the course page. Note that yours can be Chemistry, African Studies, Biology, Mathematics, any course you can mention. So the first thing I can see on this course page is you are welcome to introduction to biology one course page blah 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 the next section is announcement this is where the lecturer will put every announcement he wants you to follow for example this course the lecturer said that the announcement is that they are supposed to download the course outline and he placed the course outline right beneath the announcement all you need to do is to double click on the material which is the course outline and your browser will download it for you so look at it mm -hmm. all right so my browser downloads and it opens for me it means that my system has saved 
that document automatically. So I just have to click on the material and I get it. So I've downloaded the course outline. So let's get into the main issues in this course. That is the content. So you scroll down. All right. So the lecturer is saying that week one, the topic is microorganisms. And under the topic are the objectives. So he has stated a number of objectives here um, for this particular topic. Now, under the objectives are the materials associated with this topic, microorganisms. So he has placed a book under the objectives. If you want to get this book, all you need to do is to double click on the book and the book will be downloaded and saved on your machine. So let's see. All right. So this is the book for microorganisms. So you have gotten the book. It's saved already. After you double click on it, it's saved already. All right. Okay, so I can close it. Now, the lecturer also found out that there is a video on YouTube, an external source, which is relevant to microorganisms. So he inserted the link to that video also under that topic, under microorganisms. So if you want to get the video, you would have to click on the link and then it will take you to the external source where that video is, where you can download or just watch. Mm -hmm. Hello friends, today we'll study about microorganisms. <laughs> All right, so you get the Are video you can download. A living organism apart from you and me? Mm -hmm. Let's go to week two. So we scroll down. So week two, topic, mammals. And objectives are stated clearly here. Under the objectives are the materials associated with that topic. So the first material is the PowerPoint presentation of the lecturer. If you want to get it, you double click on it and it opens the PowerPoint for you and you can study it. Mm -hmm. There's another video the lecturer inserted. The lecturer found another video that is also relevant to the topic mammals on YouTube. He inserted it right here. If you want it, you double click on it. Mm -hmm. And it will open on the external source for you. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Emerald Robinson, and in this What Is video, we'll answer the question, what is a mammal? Mammals are a group of warm-blooded animals that have hair or fur and secrete milk to feed their young. All mammals are classified in the eukarya domain since their cells have nuclei. So you can download or watch it. Mm -hmm. But there is another thing we can see here. This is a video that is not on an external source. So the lecturer inserted the video right on the e-learning platform. All you need to do is to double click on it and that video will download and saved on your machine. All right, so the video will play and your browser will download it for you. All right, so it continues till you get to the last week of the semester, which will perhaps be the last topic. And that is all you need to know. But there is another clue I want to give you. There are some lecturers who will not give objectives on their course pages. So what they will do is that lecture one, then they will insert the material. So microorganisms, assignment, and then a link. All you need to do is to double click on the material and it will download for you as I have demonstrated early on. 
there is no different thing in relation to this you just have to double click on them and they will download accordingly for you so i want to click on the assignment and see all right so it downloads for me my machine saves it and i can work on it anytime i want in our next video we are going to look at how to participate in a live lecture what you need to do how you can actively participate and what is expected of you kindly subscribe to be part of this family so that we can learn together thank you very much